The air defense landscape has changed significantly in recent years, with both Russia and China developing advanced systems to protect their skies. In this video, we're going to put two of the most advanced air defense systems head to head, the Russian S-400 and the Chinese HQ-9B. Which system comes out on top? We'll compare their range, mobility, radar capabilities, and more to determine which air defense system reigns supreme. From their development history to their real-world combat performance, we'll leave no stone unturned in this in-depth comparison. So, which system will come out on top? Watch to find out. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. The S-400 and HQ-9B are advanced air defense systems critical for modern military strategy, with the S-400 generally seen as more capable based on range and combat experience, though the HQ-9B is a strong contender with ongoing upgrades. Research suggests the S-400, developed by Russia, has a longer range, up to 400 kilometers, and proven effectiveness in conflicts like Ukraine, while the HQ-9B, from China, offers a range of 250 to 300 kilometers and is deployed in disputed areas like the South China Sea. It seems likely that both systems deter aerial threats, protect key assets, and influence regional power dynamics, but their effectiveness can vary based on specific combat scenarios and technological advancements. The S-400 Triumph, developed by Russia's Almaz Anti and deployed since 2007, is renowned for its ability to engage a wide range of aerial threats, including drones, stealth aircraft, and ballistic missiles, with a maximum range of up to 400 kilometers and the capacity to track hundreds of targets simultaneously. It has been used in real-world scenarios, such as in Syria and Ukraine, showcasing its combat effectiveness. The HQ-9B, an upgraded version of China's HQ-9, offers a range of approximately 250 to 300 kilometers and is designed to counter aircraft, cruise missiles, and precision-guided munitions. It is highly mobile and has been deployed in strategic areas like the South China Sea and exported to countries like Pakistan and Egypt, indicating its growing global influence. Both systems are vital for establishing air superiority, acting as deterrence against aerial attacks, and protecting critical infrastructure. The S-400's proven combat record and advanced radar systems make it a cornerstone for nations like India and Russia, while the HQ-9B strengthens China's defensive posture in disputed territories and supports allies like Pakistan. Their deployment influences regional power dynamics, often requiring adversaries to invest in costly countermeasures like stealth technology or electronic jamming. Technical Specifications and Capabilities The S-400 Triumph developed by Russia's Almaz Anti, entered service in 2007 and is considered one of the most advanced air defense systems globally. It boasts a maximum range of 400 kilometers with its 40N6E missile, capable of engaging targets at altitudes up to 30 kilometers and speeds reaching Mach 14. Its radar systems, including the 91N6E with a 600 km detection range and the 92N6E multifunctional radar with a 340 km range, utilize active electronically scanned array AESA, technology, providing superior tracking and resistance to electronic countermeasures ECM. The system can track 100 to 300 targets simultaneously and engage up to 36 targets at once, using a mix of missiles like the 48N6E3, 250km range, and 9M96E, 40km range. Its anti-ballistic missile capability is notable, countering short- and medium-range ballistic missiles, and it has a rapid 5-minute setup time, enhancing mobility. In contrast, the HQ-9B, developed by China Precision Machinery Import and Export Corporation CPMIEC, is an upgrade of the original HQ-9, with a range of 250 to 300 km and the ability to engage targets at altitudes up to 50 km. Its interceptor missiles travel at speeds around Mach 4.2, with recent variants potentially reaching Mach 14. The system uses a dual seeker, radar and infrared, for terminal guidance, improving effectiveness against certain threats. It can track up to 100 targets and engage 8 to 10 simultaneously, with radar systems like the H-200 Phased Array and HT-233, though these are generally less advanced than the S-400's AESA suite. The HQ-9B is mobile, 
transportable by rail or air, and has been upgraded to include anti-stealth capabilities, with variants like the HQ-9P customized for Pakistan, 125 km range. Real-World Deployments The S-400 has seen significant real-world deployment, particularly in conflict zones. Russia deployed it in Syria in 2015, protecting Russian and Syrian naval and air assets at the Kamamim Air Base and later in Masayov, Hama Governorate, under Russian command. It has also been stationed in Kaliningrad and Crimea, enhancing Russia's defensive posture in these strategic areas. During the Russia-Ukraine conflict, the S-400 has been used to intercept various aerial threats, including aircraft, drones, and missiles, demonstrating its combat effectiveness. The HQ-9B, while less documented in combat, has been strategically deployed by China in disputed territories. Missiles were placed in Hoden, Xinjiang, near Kashmir across the line of actual control in July 2015, and on Woody Island in the South China Sea in February 2016, reinforcing China's claims in these areas. It has also been exported, with Pakistan inducting the HQ-9P variant in October 2021 to bolster its air defense against Indian air assets, and Egypt obtaining HQ-9B systems as of 2025. However, its combat experience is limited, with reports of vulnerabilities, such as failing to intercept a BrahMos missile in 2022 and alleged neutralization in Lahore, Pakistan, in May 2025, though these claims remain unverified and are based on ex-posts. Strategic Importance in Modern Military Strategy Both systems play a pivotal role in modern military strategy, particularly in regions with high geopolitical tension. The S-400's superior range, advanced radar, and proven combat effectiveness make it a cornerstone for nations seeking to establish air superiority and protect critical infrastructure. For instance, India's acquisition of the S-400 in 2018, with deliveries starting in 2021, has significantly boosted its defensive capabilities, particularly during the May 2025 India-Pakistan conflict, where it intercepted multiple Pakistani missile and drone strikes. It provides a defensive shield over major cities, enhances sea denial against naval forces, and boosts air operations by protecting airbases, allowing offensive forces to focus on adversaries. The HQ-9B, while slightly less advanced, is crucial for China's layered air defense strategy, especially in disputed areas like the South China Sea and along the line of actual control with India. Its deployment in these regions strengthens China's control and deters potential aerial incursions. The system's export to Pakistan and Egypt highlights its growing influence, serving as a diplomatic tool to strengthen alliances and counterbalance regional powers like India, which relies on the S-400. Both systems force adversaries to rethink tactics, often requiring investments in stealth technology, electronic jamming, or anti-radiation missiles to counter them. Their strategic deployment can shift regional power dynamics, as seen in the India-Pakistan rivalry, where the S-400's capabilities outclass the HQ-9, widening the technological gap. Comparative Analysis and Future Implications The S-400 generally outclasses the HQ-9B in range, target tracking, simultaneous engagements, and combat experience, with its AESA radar suite providing better ECM resistance. However, the HQ-9B is continuously upgraded, with recent variants closing the gap, particularly in mobility and anti-stealth capabilities. The S-400's proven track record in conflicts like Ukraine contrasts with the HQ-9B's lack of confirmed combat experience, though its deployment in sensitive areas suggests potential effectiveness. Future implications include increased competition between Russia and China in the global arms market, with both systems influencing procurement decisions by nations seeking to bolster air defenses. The S-400's combat success may drive demand, while China's efforts to enhance the HQ-9B could challenge Russian dominance, especially in cost-sensitive markets. The strategic importance of these systems will likely grow as aerial threats evolve, with nations investing in integrated air defense networks to counter drones, hypersonic missiles, and stealth aircraft. So, which system is more effective? The evidence points to the S-400, and here's why. Recent analyses from Military Cognizance, Jagran Josh, and Indian Defense Research Wing consistently rank the S-400 higher for three big reasons. 
range, radar, and real-world results. Check out this chart. The S400's 400km range outstrips the HQ-9B's 250-300km, letting it hit targets deeper in enemy territory. Its AESA radars detect up to 600 kilometers, twice the HQ-9B's range, and resist jamming better, as per Defense Street. Plus, it can engage 36 targets versus the HQ-9B's 8-10, to making it ideal for complex threats. The Clincher? Combat Proof The S-400's track record in Syria, Ukraine, and India's Operation Sindor shows it can handle real threats. Times of India reported it gave India a decisive edge over Pakistan's HQ-9 in 2025, intercepting multi-axis attacks. The HQ-9B, meanwhile, has no confirmed kills, and unverified ex-posts claim it struggled against Indian jets and missiles, per Bharat articles. Defense expert Douglas Berry from the International Institute for Strategic Studies says the S-400's effectiveness hinges on skilled operators but notes its combat success sets it apart. The HQ-9B's potential is strong, but without battle data, it's a step behind. No system is perfect. The S-400 can be overwhelmed by saturation attacks or hit by anti-radiation missiles, like a Ukrainian HIMARS strike on its radar in 2025. The HQ-9B struggles with high-speed threats like BrahMos and lacks the S-400's layered missile options. But the S-400's superior tech and experience make it more resilient, per Indian Defense Research Wing. Looking ahead, the S-400's exports to India, China, and Turkey give it global clout, while the HQ-9B's affordability appeals to nations like Pakistan. China's upgrades could narrow the gap, but for now, the S-400 is the gold standard. There you have it. The S-400 Triumph is the champ, thanks to its longer range, better radar, and proven combat record. But the HQ-9B is a rising star, so the race isn't over. What's your take? Is the S-400 unstoppable, or is the HQ-9B underrated? Drop your thoughts in the comments, smash subscribe, and ring the bell for more epic defense breakdowns. Catch you next time on Classified Defense Files.